So today we've got a pretty sick test. Um, we've got a, the, obviously the new 2021 Superjet. Then we've got a 2020 Superjet. And uh, that has a B pipe on it and a head and some filters. Um, so that's going to be a super awesome comparison between the 701 and then the stock uh, uh, TL1 powered 2021 Superjet. And then right on the end, we've got a GP1 with a 1050 TL1 engine. So uh, basically the, the 1050 GP1 and the new Superjet have the base model uh, map tuner map on them. So uh, they those are basically tuned exactly the same. So it should give you a really good comparison between the two. So we're going to run the new Superjet and the old Superjet against each other, kind of check what the speeds are and how they compare, and then we'll compare the new Superjet to the 1050 GP1. So yeah, should be a pretty interesting day. Um, I'm interested to see what the results are going to be. Pep out the gates. So here we go, new Superjet, 1050 GP1, 2020 or 2019 Superjet with a B pipe, head, and some filters. Should be pretty interesting between these two skis. My prediction is obviously a 1050. Well, well, the 701 with no parts, but uh, yeah, this 701, it's got a, a B pipe on it now. It's got one of our commander heads, got some air filters, um, got a little bit of tuning. So, you know, pretty much a good little surf setup. Um, interested to see how it's going to pull compared to this uh, 1050 Superjet. The Superjet does have a little bit of a flash on it, but a really mellow flash. So, uh, yeah, should be pretty interesting. Two, three! Pretty significant difference. So I'm going to lean off the bottom end on the two-stroke a little bit, see if we can get a little bit more pep, pep out the gates. Leader landed on that boat. Yeah, I just want to leave it with the back. Up. So here we go, TL1 1050 powered GP1. This and that Superjet have exactly the same tune in them. Um, this GP1 still running a 140 pump, where the Superjet has a 144. 
but besides that pretty much the exactly the same powertrain so this should be a good I think a good uh, kind of comparison between the two and then we'll head back. All right, cool. How much faster are this? Um, it is uh, four miles an hour. Four miles an hour faster? Yeah, in the smooth. Okay. Two, three. <laughs> finished uh, doing a little bit of our own personal little shootout here between a 701 Superjet with a B-pipe head, uh, some filters and a, uh, the, uh, the rev limiter removed on the uh, CDI. So it actually ran pretty good. Then the 2021 Superjet and then a 1050 GP1. Um, so yeah, yes, uh, you know, did a little bit of testing here with Taz. Taz, what did you what did you think between the, the three boats? What is your feeling like jumping obviously between the Superjet, then the new Superjet, and then the GP1? So I started out on the 701, and uh, when I was idling out, I haven't ridden a 701 for a while. And the first thing to me was just it felt a little cramped, like I'm not super big, and just idling out, it felt like the trail was a little bit like pretty small, and the boat was a little unstable just uh, going through the no wake zone. Um, and, uh, but once we got up and going and out the no, no wake zone, it felt pretty playful and it felt fairly snappy on the bottom and uh, just so I expected, you know, when we pulled up to, to drag race each other, I expected the 1050 to walk away from the, the two-stroke, which it did. Um, the two-stroke hung in there a little bit, but as we got to like mid-range, the four-stroke, you can't compare it to the four-stroke mid-range, it just pulled away. Um, I then jumped onto the new Superjets. 
um, it just felt a lot more like a like a newer like a newer boat, like a, like a little bit more like our boat, you know, where the tray's a little bit bigger, um, you know, a little bit more of a comfortable riding position. It's a lot more stable. Um, I do way prefer the four-stroke power. Um, it's just what I'm used to, and I like the mid-range and, and of the four-stroke. Um, to me, the main thing was just yeah, it just felt super comfortable when I got back into the the, the new superjet. You know, the pole position. Uh, I like the angle of the pole. Um, I like the whole feel of the boat. It just feels a lot closer to the to like like Arbor Race boats and the the newer four strokes that are out there. Um, then I jumped into the 1050 um, GP1, and um, you know straight away I just felt like it, you know you could, it feels like you got more horsepower even though it's the same engine. So it feels like same thing, you know, more mid range, and you could definitely feel more top end than the um, new Superjet. Um, so the jump between the 701 to the new Superjet, I almost felt a bit like that jump, the same sort of jump I went from the new Superjet to the 1050 GP1. Just the same sort of thing, just a little bit more mid-range, a little bit more top end. And obviously it, it gives you that race boat feeling where everything's super direct and um, you know, turns in a little bit harder, a little bit more stable at speed. Um, it's just, just more, more feels like more like you, you're in the water instead of on top of the water. Definitely more connected to the boat. Yeah, and you feel like you, you're connected to the boat and you like, you, you sit, like when you open the gas, it just sucks into the water and it just, it just stays straight. Like when you go through chop, it just doesn't get affected by the chop and stuff like that. But overall, I still had fun on the Super Jet. It's awesome. You can play around with it and hop wakes and stuff like that. It's great for all that. Cool. So there we go. Should, uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Pretty cool comparing all three. And uh, yeah, even though they're so different from each other, they're actually pretty similar at the end of the day. You can have a lot of fun in all of them. Superjet, definitely the smallest. Takes definitely the more challenging to ride. The new Superjet 2021, kind of in the middle. Um, it's very easy to ride, you know, pretty talky but mellow power. Um, GP1 with the same power plant, just more direct, peppier. You know, you're talking about four, uh, like 4.7, 4.8 mile an hour, more top speed. Um, but yeah, pretty cool comparison. Hope you guys enjoyed it.